Greetings, welcome to this uh, quick presentation on using an exporter to back up all of your photos from the iPhoto library. Uh, very quickly, if I've got a an event, and I've got, or let's say I've got several events, um, numerous events, and you've got thousands or hundreds and or hundreds of thousands of pictures. Here I go through, and uh, here's our beloved Mr. Christopherson, and uh, we've got his cute little babes here. And I want to export these um, to another site, uh, off-site. I could use an external backup drive. What I really like to use, though, for smaller applications is to export this to Shutterfly. You can check to see if you've got the Shutterfly export by going to File, Export. And if you see a Shutterfly button up here, you'll know that you've got it. We don't, so let's go through and, and get it. I'm going to go into Safari. Shutterfly.com. And once there, all I'm going to do is turn that off. I'm going to type in iPhoto and hit go. There's a free software that you click on, and we download the plugin. We're going to download that to our computer. It downloads once it pops up in my downloads folder Shutterfly Export Assistant. I'm going to click on that. We can minimize this while I'm waiting. And I've got the iPhoto plugin. I double tap on that. And as my computer is a little slow, it'll go into an installer. Continue, continue, continue. Agree. Install. goes through the installation. It's very quick, very painless, and I hit close. Once I'm done, I'm going to go in. I'm going to close iPhoto, and let's reopen it. And when it back, opens back up, I'm going to click on my event. Nice thing about Shutterfly is there's my Shutterfly tie-in. I click on that. I'm going to add to a new album, Christopherson's Christmas. If I go into preferences, I'm going to log in and uh, And I'm going to type in my password. If you add this, then you don't have to keep logging in every time. So sign in. One thing you want to make sure is that you don't do the lowest grade. There's no limits to Shutterfly as far as how many pictures you can upload and what the file quality size is of your upload. And so for each picture. So I go at the maximum amount. And uh, they do that because they probably can afford to, and they assume that eventually you're going to buy something from them. So if I hit Upload Full Size Photos, I hit Export, it's going to push all my pictures out to Shutterfly. And if you've got the nice Shutterfly app on your iPhone, it works great. So let's uh, From there, that's pretty much it. Once you go to the Shutterfly website, you'd be able to see uh, all of your events as folders that have the pictures in there. So the next app that we'll look at is the iPhone app from Shutterfly. Into the iPhone app, here we've got the actual interface. You can see the folders and whatnot, the albums. Once you go into the albums, you take a look at uh, how it's organized basically. And if you're uploading anything from your laptop, you're going to see that in there. If I wanted to import something from my phone, you can see up to the right where I have 1,053 new photos, I can upload those from the camera roll. And with as many that I've got in my camera roll, I wouldn't want to do that many at one time. But if you turn it on early enough, you'd be able to back up all of your photos as soon as you take pictures of them. So it's kind of a nice feature. Other things you can do with that is you can make special albums. You can 
look at orders, create orders, buy stuff from Shutterfly, which is basically what they want you to do. So it's still a nice way to back up all your photos in case you know your your phone gets crushed. I know there's the photo stream service from iPhone and Apple, but a lot of people don't turn that feature on. So make sure that if you have any questions, get a hold of me and let me know, and we'll get you hooked up. So thanks for watching and have a great day.